Welcome to Cook to Nourish. Today's recipe is that of almond fudge cups. These are absolutely delicious and very easy to make. So you start by taking one fourth cup of creamy almond butter. Uh, of course, make sure that your almond butter doesn't have any unnecessary ingredients, you know, like sugar or any other chemicals. Uh, just make sure it has salt and almond butter. And then next I'm using two tablespoons of coconut oil but as you can see here this is softened coconut oil uh, so it's not melted completely but it's just like a softened at room temperature and that's how you measure it uh, then I add one fourth cup of shredded dried shredded coconut I like the let's do organic brand and uh, then we'll add a little bit of a sea salt a quarter teaspoon I always like to add salt to you know all sweet recipes because it just makes it additionally flavorful next we add two tablespoons of maple syrup which is the sweetener that i like to use for a keto version make sure you use an approved keto sweetener like erythritol or monk fruit sweetener next um, i also add about um, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for some additional flavor and that's that's about it you know just mix till you get a smooth mixture and um, you can additionally also add some more uh, coarsely chopped almonds so here I have ground um, almonds raw almonds in a food processor and I'm adding about a tablespoon and a half of that into the mixture just to give it some additional like texture and crunch you know when you bite into it and that's it that's the basic recipe you just drop um, you know use mini cupcake liners and drop about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half into the cupcake liners and just freeze them now this recipe makes about six of these mini cupcake liners so and it you can easily just double the recipe and make a larger batch you can also use like a larger size uh, baking cup instead of mini baking cups but I, I find that this size is the perfect and then you just top it uh, with some more coarsely chopped almonds as, as well as the uh, shredded coconut just you know just to make it look uh, prettier on top and then these will go into the freezer So you freeze them for a minimum of 30 minutes and after that they are ready to enjoy. Now additionally I also wanted to show you an additional chocolate topping that you can do on this. So for that you start by 1 fourth cup of raw cacao, 3 tablespoons of um, co melted coconut oil and I already added like a pinch of sea salt already to it too. and we'll then add um, a tablespoon of uh, oh, I'm sorry a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavor so basically I'm just making like a chocolate topping and uh, to that I'm going to add one tablespoon of raw honey and then raw honey works best for this chocolate recipe and We'll just add everything and mix it well so I thought of uh, making this chocolate topping uh, you know as an afterthought after I had uh, frozen my first batch uh, but I wanted to show you this because uh, my family really loved this uh, version you know with the chocolate topping on top so all you do is mix everything together and so here as I said I had already frozen these so I'm going to add this on top but if you are you know uh, starting now you can just basically after you put the almond layer you can you know go ahead and put this layer on top and then freeze the whole thing you know so in my case as I said I had already f um, I had already like uh, kept these in the freezer so they're like set and I'm just pouring the chocolate sauce on top but it will work uh, uh, either way you know so this is just like a chocolate additional chocolate layer on top 
and chocolate and almonds go really well so you just pour that sauce and it will set right away you know and if you're uh, just putting it you know along with the almond layer then you just freeze them additionally and also actually I remember to put your toppings before you freeze them so that the toppings will be like set on top of the layer as well okay yeah so I'm adding both again the shredded coconut as well as the uh, crushed almonds on top and see how pretty it looks that's it enjoy i hope you love this recipe and try it don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also visit cooktonourish.com for more recipes thank you